over the past month that I've uh, been hanging around MBTI and typology communities, there's one theme in particular that I've noticed uh, that's, that's a bit interesting, and that's um, I've seen a lot of people say they have either ESFJ or ISFJ mothers. And uh, in fact, I've even uh, determined my mom to be an ESFJ. And um, we're, we're talking an overwhelming majority of, of people who say they have ESFJ or ISFJ moms. And uh, in fact, uh, one person on YouTube even joked that you know maybe once you have once a woman starts having children, that she becomes an ISFJ. Um, so I've been kind of interested in this phenomenon, and it kind of got me thinking. Um, you know, is it possible that some of these um, uh, these ISFJ or ESFJs might be mistypes? Um, and the reason I say that is because, um, you know, um, I've never known my mom from any other perspective besides that of her son. Um, you know, the relationship between my mom and myself is, has always been mother and son, and it's always going to be that way you know, as long as we're both alive. And so that relationship dynamic um, can certainly uh, affect the way people perceive their mothers. And so, you know, I'm thinking... Um, uh, that in a lot of these cases, um, this common SJ tendency uh, to know what's best and, you know, for an SJ personality type to want to um, impose their values onto others, well, that's what mothers do. Um, you know, it's just something that uh, um, uh, might be uh, the role of a parent rather than... Uh, uh, an SJ, um, you know, and, uh, you know, the thing is all, you know, emotionally healthy moms uh, would naturally want what's best for their children. And um, so they would express what comes across as um, uh, extroverted, extroverted feeling uh, when they interact with their children. Um, so, you know, it's certainly possible that, uh, you know, that any mom, no matter what personality type she is, uh, she might come across to her children as an ESFJ or an ISFJ, uh, even, even if she's not. And so um, uh, that, that could certainly account for, you know, this perception uh, of, of that personality type. Uh, the other thing is um, someone who's, you know, been a mom for a long time, as in, you know, her kids are, are, are adults now, um, you know, she might perceive herself as a as someone with the traits of a uh, of an ESFJ or ISFJ, um, and then she would uh, come across that way when she takes a personality test. Um, you know, I've heard I've heard plenty of women say that uh, that becoming a mom has taught them a lot. So uh, her test results would certainly reflect um, learned behavior more so than her natural tendencies, uh, and so. You know, and we all know that tests are unreliable for people who who don't really know themselves that well. And so, um, you know, the way these um, these mothers perceive themselves would, uh, would come across that way on uh, on test results. And so, you know, all of this could certainly you know the, the way they the mothers perceive themselves and the way their children perceive their their mothers. Um, you know, but my thinking is that that's that could certainly account for a lot of these uh, ESFJ, ISFJ um, personality types. Now, you know, some of them are certainly, you know, accurate uh, assessments, but, you know, it just makes me wonder how many of these um, these reported, um, you know, XSFJ mothers are, are mistypes. Now, I posted this theory on Personality Cafe the other day, and uh, I got quite a few responses. Um, not so much agreeing or disagreeing with, with that theory, but uh, a few people uh, posted theories of their own, which I found kind of interesting. Um, one person suggested it might be a, a generational thing, uh, where um, past generations, like, like like just a generation ago, um, it was uh, kind of a cultural standard for, for women um, to have these, uh, these common uh, XSFJ traits, um, uh, this uh, traditionalist um, SJ temperament uh, fits, you know, and the extroverted feeling 
fits right in with the with the way women were expected to to behave. Um, another theory was that um, uh, the uh, XSFJ uh, women um, would put family values um, uh, or starting families at the, the top of their priority list, and so uh, they would be much more likely to you know, to, to start families than, than women of uh, other types, like the more logical types or um, other uh, other temperaments. Um, so, and then I um, I looked up some statistics, um, you know, as a follow up to that theory, and uh, I found that um, when you combine the uh, the estimated percentages of uh, uh, of ESFJ and ISFJ uh, uh, women against the, the total female population, I found that those two person personality types combined. Uh, can actually account for up to 37% of the total female population, um, and then when you um, when you combine that with the uh, the estimated 20% um, uh, of women, uh, according to um, a survey in, in the year 2010, 20% um, of women uh, reportedly um, uh, or supposedly would never have children, and so. Um, if we uh, combine all, all these theories, you know, saying that uh, most of the, uh, the ESFJ and ISFJ women would eventually have children, and the fact that they account for 37% of the population, uh, and the possible reasons for, for mistypings, uh, the perceptions of, uh, uh, of these moms uh, uh, being mistyped as uh, uh, XSFJ, it's really not that uh, uncanny for uh, all these reported ESFJ and ISFJ moms. So, you know, I don't really know what uh, you know what all these what the actual percentages would be, and how many of them might be mistyped, and um, how many of the uh, uh, the uh, XSFJs become moms because of their uh, their SJ values. But um, it's really um, you know any uh, any combination of these theories could account for the uh, the multitudes of uh, ESFJ and ISFJ moms. So um, considering that I was the one who uh, who raised this question in the first place, I would have to say that you know I'm satisfied with the uh, with these these theories. Uh, but I'd still like to know what what you guys think of uh, uh, of, of this of these concepts. And uh, I'd especially be interested in hearing from uh, uh, ESFJs and ISFJs who are moms, and uh, you know to hear what you think. So uh, yeah, just uh, just let me know what you guys think, and uh, I'll uh, talk to you guys later.